Hello and welcome to Business Buzz. I'm Kyle Schwarz and we are at another new business in downtown Alliance. Actually, it's been here a while, but we haven't done a story here yet. It's the Cat Cafe and I'm here with the owner, Sherry Groom, and she's been on lots of our other programs. You probably know Sherry from the Troll Hole and other business ventures downtown Alliance. So, Sherry, this is at 40 South Arch. We're located right behind the Cat Museum. So, tell us what was the whole idea behind the Cat Cafe? So the cat cafe is a growing trend. It started in Asia where people don't keep domestic cats in their home. So they would go to a cafe as an opportunity to pay, with, pay to play with cats. And it was just a big empty sterile room. Well, it started catching on in the US and it became more of a cafe. But because of health regulations in the US, it was problematic for them. And so um, they became adoption centers. So they partner up with local rescues and we help them find homes for their cats. So we've now partnered with Angels for Animals. Which most people have heard of. That's huge, Angels, Angels for Animals. Angels for Animals is the most successful. They've just uh, expanded their complex from a shelter to a full-size 24-hour um, vet surgery center. Wow. So they do veterinarian services, which supports their goals to decrease the feral dog and cat population. So the dogs, amazingly enough, they've accomplished that, and there is a shortage of feral dogs, in the, but they truck them in now from South Carolina and parts south. For every one home, there's 300 cats that need placement. Wow. So the cats are very much in need, and this is going to be a site where their cats come, and you can come here and adopt them. They're all fully vetted, and they're underneath their policies, but we are going to be a host site um, doing this as a community service to them to find homes for these cats, all kinds of cats from anywhere. And where, when do you expect that part to? By the end of the month, oh, okay. uh, I, we should have their cats in here. Okay. We had all our cats, our resident cats, because we also, our mission is to educate people on the different breeds of cats, because we're behind the international cat place where they do cat shows and cat um, pedigrees. Mm -hmm. For the whole world, it happens right here in Alliance, and we wanted people to know what a Persian looks like, what a calico, what, what are the different breeds, what are their different personalities. Mm -hmm. So we have a classic orange tabby, you think Morris, and he's our host uh, dominant cat that welcomes everybody, so you pay to play with those cats, and then you can learn about the other breeds of cats. So we're recruiting for a few unique breeds of cats to come join us with unique personalities, but it's a special place Zen garden with bamboo forest and a cat jungle with catwalks, cat bridges, and then an outdoor catio space <laughs> where the cats can go outside. Uh -huh. Well, you also, you haven't left out the dogs though here because you have a little yes. area for dogs as well. So the front part is a boutique and the dogs are welcome here. And also we have an outdoor dog yard where people can sit with two outdoor water features and enjoy um, the outdoors with their dog and come get a snack for themselves and their dogs. So our food service is self-serve and prepackaged snacks at a comp uh, donation only. Okay, very So we're nice. not a full service cafe. A few people wanted to come eat here, but we're not doing that. <laughs> if you'd like that, come over to the Grumpy Troll Cafe where we have our custom Belgian waffles and handcrafted drinks. Right, right. All right, so um, tell us ab about the, the area where we are right now. We have a really cool mural that your in-house artist did. So at the Troll Hall Museum, we employ David McDowell. He works on all of our projects from Camelot to um, Wisecrack's Comedy Escape Room and the Cat Cafe. So he did this wonderful mural showing the cat Alfred hosting Arista Cats and his alley friends, cats and dogs, here at the Cat Cafe. So he also did um, some of the work in the back, plus we have some local artists and the ABCs of Cats art installation, which was done by local school children and local artists. It was over the last year. Um, so Summit Art Academy, Alliance Middle School, uh, Glen Oaks have all done oh. some doors that recycled. Each door represents one breed of cat, and we have a little hangman game, and we have a Mount Union University student who's creating the trifold so that you can come look at the doors and identify by the letters and the images on it and the clues which door belongs to which breed of cats, and then you get a prize for identifying all the doors. We hope to launch that with a dedication during Carnation Festival Week. Oh, great, great. You guys are always good with those scavenger hunt type games. And <laughs> yes, we keep our art interactive <laughs> right. and educational. All right, um, so what are your hours here at the Cat Cafe? So we're book online. So okay. Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, you can book online. If you want to come outside those hours, there's a phone number and you just call and we schedule those visits. So it's pretty much, we open on demand. Okay, and can you give us the phone number? 
596 1157, okay. and that's option three. Option one's a troll, option two is wisecracks, and option three is a cat cafe. Okay. And we are looking for some volunteers to come sit with the cats until we build more momentum. Um, we don't need anybody cleaning up behind them, but we just want them to come sit and pet and enjoy the cats like an hour at a time. Okay. All right. Well, anything else you wanted to add before we close the program? Just keep watching as uh, we continue to expand things downtown. Uh, we're doing small, more private events than we did before with expanded hours. During the summer, we're open six days a week, and we hope the Cat Cafe uh, to be open then. We have some artists lined up who do cat and dog portraits that will be doing some showings and openings here as well. Okay. Well, very good. Thank you, Sherry. Thank, thank you, Thank you Kyle. for keeping downtown open and, and thriving. Thank you. You're welcome. And yeah. thank you for watching Business Buzz. I'm Kyle Schwarz.